Um, we're going to extend the X method a little bit um, into uh, doing doing uh, grids in in one point perspective. Um, so we're just going to pick a uh, pick a vanishing point. We're going to draw a plane. Should be comfortable drawing planes by now. Get lots of freehand practice. Okay. Now you should be pretty good at the X method. Find that center. And the, the matter of drawing a grid is just subdividing each plane. Now we've got uh, four planes, so we're just going to subdivide. <coughs> it's pretty easy. Now see, this is where my shortcut has messed me up, because I'm going to want to subdivide this plane uh, and go from point to point. So I'm going to go from point to point. And I would have already subdivided it had I carried that all the way through. So again, this is why you carry all the way through, draw all the way through forms point to point, um, especially because you don't necessarily know what you're going to need. Um, so to find uh, this horizontal for both these, I can carry it all the way through because it's going to be the same on this one. But uh, to find that the vertical part of the grid, I'm going to have to go through there and then drop that all the way back to the horizon. Now this gets very geometrical, but again, you really need to be thinking about this line receding. Okay, so we've subdivided this, and we've got to subdivide one more time, and we'll be done. Boom. So the grid in one point perspective is easy if you just make sure to draw all the way through. Um, and you notice how, uh, you know, when you've drawn this vertical and this, uh, the X from the original, you found the, uh, the uh, point where your horizontal goes on that as well. So you don't have to actually draw this X out. So there are little shortcuts that uh, that do happen naturally when you're when you're working with uh, a grid in one point. So let's move on to grid in two point. <coughs> 